And just like that, you can leave your phone anywhere in the household and you can monitor anything you wanna watch. How's it going everyone? For today's video, I'm gonna go ahead and share with you guys a few little of my favorite life hacks that you could do with the Apple Watch. Okay, so for this first one, I wanna quickly share with you guys. If you happen to own the Sport Loop Band, it doesn't have to be this exact band. It could be the other ones that Apple sell online. But a cool thing about owning this band, even though this one's a reflective one, like I said, it works the same with other, even replica Apple loop bands. But if whatever said reason you have to place your Apple Watch in your pocket, instead of just placing it in like so, the loop band could actually act like a screen protector, preventing scratches to occur whenever, let's say you're doing an outdoor activity and you have your Apple Watch in your pocket because you don't have the time to put it in your backpack or other place where it can get damaged. If you actually take the loop band, you can actually wrap it around the screen and use the Velcro to make sure it remains tightened. So this is a really quick and easy way to properly secure your Apple Watch. If even while carrying this thing, this is actually a good way to prevent any damage to the screen as it acts almost like a screen protector. So if you need another reason to pick up the loop band or to keep your loop band, this is a great one as it serves other purposes now. Now this next one is a quicker way to start your workout. Now we should already be aware that the Apple Watch is basically the ultimate companion app for fitness activities. It does an excellent job in tracking your calories, distance you travel, as well as your heart rate. But did you know this timer, whenever you start your workout, can easily be bypassed if you tap the screen again. This is extremely useful and this is how I personally used it. I'm already running outdoors and I forget to launch the app, but instead of slowing down because I really don't want to, you could actually launch the app all off your wrist and select a workout and quickly tap on the screen and the watch will immediately start counting your calories, your distance you travel and all that good stuff. So this is a really quick and easy way to let the app start. And then let's say you're tracking laps. We know that the Apple Watch has a stopwatch already built into it. But did you know if you 3D press, you have four different stopwatches to choose from? That's right. We have the traditional analog one, which is the one by default, and you also get a digital one. And if you 3D press again, you get a graph. And this one's pretty cool because it actually gives you little graphs each and every time you make a lapse. And then the other one is a cool little hybrid of the analogs as well as the digital. So uh, this is pretty cool. And uh, not a lot of people knew about this apparently. And uh, this could definitely be a good life hack, especially if you're doing an outdoor activity or just running laps, to be honest. It's just another one that I feel you should definitely be aware of. Like this next one, flip your crown upside down. I mean, like move the digital crown on this side. If you've never done this before, definitely do give it a try because having a crown on this side, there's a few benefits you get. Not only do you eliminate the risk of damaging the crown wheel, let's say you bump into a wall or something, since the digital crown is on this end, you're less likely to damage it. And also, navigating using the digital crown on this side, you're less likely to block the screen if you had the digital crown on this end. On this end, you're most likely to have parts of the screen blocked with your finger. In the past, on my Series 3, I used to always have the digital crown on this end, but the reason why I changed it back over here is because now the microphone is over here. So whenever you're making phone calls, it's more convenient to answer. But then again, I'm thinking about switching it personally back on this end because uh, I just don't ever answer a phone call with my Apple Watch. I usually always forward it to my AirPods or back on my phone. I don't like having open conversations, if you know what I mean. And just in case you're unaware how to do this, you could just, it's easier to do it off your phone by launching the Apple Watch app, go down to general, and here you'll find the watch orientation position. And from here you can select the digital crown, either if you want it on the left side or right side. And that's how you do it. And another quick life hack. Before, whenever I had placed my Apple Watch to charge, like on nightstand mode, it would just give me this little ring to show me my battery life percentage. Instead of removing a watch to see the exact battery life percentage, you can also just click on the little battery icon and it'll actually show you that. So just in case you weren't aware, because I wasn't really aware of this either until like a week ago when I accidentally tapped on the screen, that's when I found out. So because of that, I just felt like I needed to include or share this with you guys at least. But this final one I want to quickly go over is definitely a really useful one and a pretty cool one and can be used for good or evil. I'm not held responsible, just saying. But this is really great for parents, I know that. 
So we all know that the Apple Watch allows us to take photos, record videos, all off our wrist because it gives us the viewfinder right here on our wrist wirelessly with Wi-Fi and Bluetooth, whichever way it's connected to your phone. But a smart and clever way I've been utilizing this is by I could monitor things by leaving my phone somewhere around the house. So let's say you're monitoring your baby inside a crib while it's sleeping while you gotta go downstairs to do laundry, for example. If you could, you could actually launch the app off your watch and you could actually set down the phone facing the kid. This way, whatever errand or household thing you gotta get done, you can still monitor your child all off the Apple Watch. And I think this is one of the best life hacks you could definitely be aware of. Even doing mechanic work, if there's a certain place you can't reach or see, just squeeze in your phone and just view it all off your watch. Really cool. Anyway, folks, that was some amazing life hacks that I use on a daily basis now that I just felt I had to share. And now you could benefit off these things too. So if you found one of these hacks useful, helpful, be sure to leave this video a big thumbs up. As that on lets me know, but that also strongly helps support the channel. Feel free to share this with a friend, family, who also should know about this. I'm pretty sure they will also appreciate some of these life hacks. And while you're at it, hit subscribe if you enjoy con seeing content like this in future videos. But as always, thank you guys so much for watching. Take care, and I'll catch you in the next one. Peace.